Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Nails and Armits. Today we are doing my left hand. I'm actually gonna make them a little shorter today because I'm going to visit my grandma and we craft a lot because we're crafty. Me and my twin sister and my grandma, crafty. Ever since we were kids. But anyway, I want my nails to be a little bit shorter for that. So we're going to be doing Garfield on this hand. This hand I'm not gonna film, it's just gonna be boring. I'm just gonna make like silver or something. So just forget about it. But anyway, we're doing my left hand. Garfield, let's get started. Hello everyone. We are, these are so short for me. I'm just showing off this hand. It was painful, honestly, to make them this short, but they're short to me. So we can count this as character art on short nails. <laughs> but anyway, I'm just showing you guys a little bit of the acrylic. So basically I just came up with this color because I'll show you a picture of the Garfield reference. Um, but in a lot of the old Garfield cartoon, they had this like purpley pink background. So I thought that would be really fun to put that in the background instead of like a traditional um, Christmas color because I had a lot of nails that were already traditional Christmas colors. So anyway, I put the glitter down, glitter clear mixed with glitter down, and then I'm just capping it because I didn't think there was enough clear in there to make it so that I wouldn't be filing off a whole bunch of glitters. You know what I mean? So we're just capping it and then we're gonna move on to the art in just a sec. So we're jumping right into Garfield himself. So um, I just took some orange. I tried to sketch it out because I feel like I'm not consistent with you guys, but I either sketch or I do the color blocking. And I tried to sketch it, but I just didn't like that method for some reason this time. So I'm just color blocking it. It's kind of like sketching, but in like a color block type of way. Plus it gets all the color down quickly. So that's kind of nice. So I'm just shaping him out. I put his head first and then I put the legs just because I was having trouble like placing him and making sure his whole body was going to fit. So I just did the head and then went straight down to the legs. And you'll see me do that for Odie as well later. And that just makes sure that there's enough space since the nails um, are short. But I've done full body art on my sister's gel nails. So it's possible on any length, just so you guys know. But yeah, throw all that color in there and then we'll move on. Per usual, we're going in color by color, and now we're just doing the white part of the Santa hat. For the eyes on these two characters, I felt it was easiest to just go with two big dots using my daughter tool and then just drag them up and shape them from those two dots.
for this mouth, I basically just put the yellow down, but before I cured it, I put like a, like a few layers of the yellow, made it like a little bit thicker, um, so that I wouldn't have to keep going over it, um, just cause it's a little small spot and it will cure fine. And now I started doing the line work because once you put, there's only so much color you can put down before you have to see the features in order to put more color down. So that's the point where I got to. I, need, I needed to see where his feet were, like where his tail was, since it's like really close to the foot. So you kind of have to separate those. And then his little hand that's or holding the ornament. So, and then I can start putting more colors like for the ornament in. I'm just now painting his arm in because I was like debating if I wanted his hand to cross over to the other nail or if I was just going to do something else with his hand, I guess. But I decided I wanted to go onto the other nail and that's why I drew it in and then cured it and then now I'm doing the line work for it. I felt like I made that line a little bit too thick for his eyes and instead of trying to wipe it off and like potentially wiping the other black because it's thin, I just went in with more white on top of it after I cured it and just to make it a little bit thicker. And then I'm just doing my line work here. I was so confident in my lines before so I think I got a little bit nervous because everything was going so well. So my lines got a little wobbly on the eyes but it still looks good. Earlier I smeared some black so I was just throwing some white on top of it um, so that the Santa hat fur was like bright white. I just have to pop in and vent but my neighbors upstairs are extremely loud. I don't understand what I could possibly be doing, but I thought the upstairs had carpet because when I had an upstairs apartment in this place, it had carpet and I swear they changed it to like wood or something because they just be on I like a computer chair just rolling across and across and across. And I'm like, oh my God, please, what are you doing? Right now it sounds like, you know, when you play basketball and you do like fast feet, that's what it sounds like. I never played basketball, but I had to go to practice once with my cousins, but that's what it sounds like. Now we can finally do the ornament. So I just take a large jotter tool, dot that red down. And then in the picture, it was kind of like an oval shape, like an oval-ish ornament. So I tried to make it kind of an oval. Later, it kind of comes out like a little bit like a diamond, but that's fine. Some ornaments look like diamonds. So we're just gonna work with that.
right, so now we're gonna do the shading. I'm using the Nails by Dev shading gel for all the shading today. Um, I decided to go in before I did the line work because I thought it would just be a smoother application. But I'm excited that the shadows on here have kind of like a grayish hue on the drawings. So I didn't feel like I needed to go through the process of making like a darker red, a darker orange, like I do sometimes. But yeah, this time, simple and easy. I love the shading gel, it works out great. Now we're going in with these little lines for Garfield. So what I did, I tried to get as little amount of gel on my brush as possible, and then did those little, they're like little triangle sections of lines and did as many as I could fit in there. Sometimes the same, it wasn't the same number as on the picture, but just get as many six sections as you can. You'll get the look, don't worry about it. Again, it's not have to be exact. Now we're going in with the top coat. I don't show it, but I do do two top coats um, on myself and all my clients when I do characters. So I do that. And then now we're gonna move on to Odie. I thought his name was Otis. And I used to watch this. I used to like draw him as a kid. My sister used to draw him all the time, Odie, but we couldn't remember his name. And I looked it up and I was like, oh, sparked a nostalgic memory. But yes, we start with Odie. And at first I do the top of his head to get the placement right. And then, um, I do the same thing I did with Garfield and go to the bottom to make sure that I'm getting the whole character and that the proportions are going to be relatively okay. So Odie is really symmetrical, which is nice. So I just do the two feet, a line straight down from the middle. And then, yeah, I just kind of drag to the feet. And I, I'm noticing like the other feet are kind of included in that same section of color. So you'll only notice them once the line work is drawn. And now I went up to the top of the head. I put the ears down, just did a straight line. Cause I noticed that on Odie's head, his eyes kind of go all the way to his ears. So it was fine to like make that area just flat because it'll be filled up with the white. I really hope I'm explaining this well. It's kind of a hard thing to explain, <laughs> but yeah, you'll get better at it as you're looking at pictures. You'll look at the picture as, as in sections, as colors, um, and you'll eventually just get um, better at it. So I hope I'm doing okay explaining it. <laughs> and now I'm just thickening, thickening his mouth neck area. And then we'll move on to the tongue after this, or the eyes, I can't remember, but you guys will see. I'm doing the same thing here as I did with Garfield and taking my large daughter tool and dotting two big lines and then I will shape the eyes from there.
when placing him, I also had to keep in mind that um, Garfield's hand had to also have a space for his hand and our ornament. So that's also why I didn't place him any higher or lower when I was doing the ears. So we're adding Garfield's hand now. And see, there's enough space for the ornament to hang right next to Odie's face. Now I'm adding the green for the string lights. I would have preferred actually to do the line work first and then to do the green on top. That way I don't have to do my line work around the green, but I do correct that and do that it that way for the bottom half of him. Now I'm going in with the line work. The reason I am doing this is because I need to know like where the strings are wrapping around and the line work will tell me that. Otherwise I'd have to like guesstimate and then do the line work around that and it would get kind of confusing and things might be in the wrong place. So we're just throwing the line work in and then we'll do the green on top, which I think is a much easier way to do it. Cause the top is, it, I had to do like line by line by line instead of like smooth lines like I'm doing now for the feet. Here you can see what I'm talking about when I go around the little ear. Instead of that being like one swoop, I just have to go around. It's a small inconvenience, but still, if you can avoid it. Now we're putting in this cute little star. When I first saw this picture, I'll show you the original, or the picture I'm going off of. Um, it's kind of cluttered in the background. So I didn't even see it until I was drawing Odie. And I was like, oh, so cute. So to draw a star, I just put um, a circle and then I use my brush to just pull out from the middle of the circle and make those star lines. The star turned out a tad bit funky, but I feel like it's perfect for Odie.
So what I'm doing now is I'm taking my tiniest daughter tool that I have and going along those green lines and adding little dots. Those are like where the little lights are going to come out of. I just want them to have a designated spot. So that's what I'm doing here. And then I will do the lights after this. And now for the lights, they are very, very small. So I'm taking my tiniest little daughter tool, getting the tiniest little bit of gel and dotting on each designated spot that I made. And then you'll see me later, I just take my brush and I pull them out so they're a little bit pointy. So this part is tedious, I'm not gonna lie. First, we're gonna start with the star, of course, finish the lines on there. And then we are going to line all of the lights all over Odie, but we're gonna line it in a way that not every single bit is lined. It's just kind of to show emphasis to the line. So some have like, like just do it kind of quick. You don't have to do it like perfect or anything like that, but just go through it, get the lines. They don't have to be exact. And then for the little lights, Again, we do the same thing, but say we just do like a quick line on one side or both sides quick line, but you don't have to make, you don't have to make sure it's like a perfect, like that perfect, what is that? Teardrop shape. Just throw the lines on there, get the emphasis and that's all you need. Now we're going in with the shading. This really pulls it all together and we just put the shading wherever the shading is in the drawing. And you'll get all your depth and it will look really good. showing off Odie's oh, textures. I forgot to do it on Garfield, but anyway. And now we're throwing that top coat on there. Don't forget to do two coats, two coats. Keep it safe and it will smooth it out so you're not touching all the textures all the time on your nails. So I wanted to do a little something something on the other nails as well. So I saw a lot of nails hex uh, for the holiday season doing the Christmas lights and using blooming gel to make it look like the light is glowing. So I'm just going to show you guys this one nail on how I do that. So first I start off by using my liner green gel to line the nail. And now I'm using my daughter tool to dot those little sections where the bulbs are going to come out of. 
And then after that, I top coat the whole thing in Blooming Gel. And now I'm taking the colors I want. So blue, a green one. I use lime green. Um, red. I put way too much purple, so don't do that. And then um, some yellow. And I just forget. I just missed one, but I add it later, so don't worry. And now I'm taking, now that that's cured, I'm taking the same color and just plopping it on top. The same color or a little darker version um, and plopping it on top. And we're going to do kind of the same method we did when we did Odie's lights. We put the dots down and then we use our brush and make it so it has a point. So figuring out the technique I wanted to do for this line work, it took a few tries. Um, so I really just came up, or I really liked using very thin lines. So I just get a very little bit of black on the brush. Oh my goodness. They're being so loud. I just had to delete the rest of that recording, but I just wanted you guys to hear it so you know I'm not crazy. But um, yeah, so you just put this in with really thin lines. You get that swirly right in the middle to give it that bulb look. And I think this was the best way because it just looks real abstract. It looks like they're lighting up and you don't need to put a whole line around the bulb. I've noticed because I mean, they're a bulb, so they don't really have lines around them. But anyway, I love it. Here's the final look. I'm happy I did the bulbs on the other nails. And this has convinced me a little bit that maybe I could do some short nails, but I don't know. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you have a character you want me to do, let me know.